all right. <laughs> How dare you shame our sponsor? <laughs> oh. Well, it is that time of the month. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? My <laughs> fingers just ain't ready. <laughs> no, no, no. What's up, campers? I'm your host, AJ. Welcome back to Winging It, episode 5. Nix is here. Sorry. Nix is here. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to be eating some disgusting crawlers, all thanks to Eat Crawlers. Mysterious Hand, would you like to explain? Today's game is a game of trivia. On each round, you'll be given three lives. If you run out of lives, you will eat the bug for that round. With every round, the bug gets more and more unappetizing until the climax. What would the climax be, Mysterious Hand? The climax is a smoothie I call the 10. Plagues smoothie. Ah, oh, sounds wonderful. Before you is a box. <gasps> Within the box is the first round's punishment. <gasps> oh wow. Eat crawlers. <laughs> Where will we be without them? Where will we be without them? <laughs> That's a locust lollipop, I believe. Oh yeah. No, cricket lollipop. Oh, uh, yeah. cricket lollipop. It's a chunky boy. It's a chunky boy. I was planning on biting into that, but like honestly. I think you'll break your teeth I'm gonna, before you <laughs> through shatter that. my teeth. Each question is multi choice. You have three cards, A, B, or C. On the count of three, you will reveal your answer. And I will let you know if you got it right or wrong by whether or not you get sprayed with bug juice. I just know that I'm just gonna fuck up one question by holding up the wrong one. Yeah, that's gonna like, happen. <laughs> question one. In Texas, it is illegal to swear in front of what? A corpse, a skunk, a nun. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. C. A nun you both chose. Now close your eyes. It's gonna be a corpse. Hang that didn't work. Yeah, what the f ah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Oh, why does it smell so <laughs> milky? Yeah, it smells so bad. It was a corpse, wasn't it? It was a corpse. Question two. How many teeth does an aardvark have? 32, 24, none. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. I feel like I'm wrong. <laughs> Close your eyes. Ah. Aardvarks are anteaters, I think. So they don't have teeth. They have I no thought, teeth. I, okay, I had a funny feeling they did. In St. Louis, Missouri, it's illegal for a firefighter to rescue what? A cat in a tree, an undressed woman, a child who is on fire. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Ooh. Actually, wait. No. Can I take it back? <laughs> I guess Can I, I take cannot. it back? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. She has to get dressed before she can be saved from the burning building. That Rose is at the window like, Put on your clothes, you s- <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Does that mean if she catches on fire and her clothes burn off, they can't save her? <laughs> no. So you thought they weren't allowed to rescue yes. burning children? Okay, 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 if the child- <laughs> Okay, so I have to eat this now. Yeah, you are out of lives, you've lost the first round. I got the nicest one at least. Huh. Um... Mm. Okay, I was hurting my jawbone. Are we trying to bite through it? No, <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt it. Wait, will I attempt it? Oh God, you got to them. Do you want to get a little bit of that crunch action going on in your mouth? Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, I actually need to take a bite of the bugs. I can't actually reach them. Give them a good lick. Uh. <laughs> That's some curse. Would you recommend this to anyone who wants a lollipop? Yeah, 100%. Parents are there, give your kids a healthy lollipop in the form of this. From eat crawl specifically. Subtle. <laughs> Alright, we now move on to our second round. Underneath the box is the punishment for the second round. Oh look. Ants. <laughs> are they flavoured or anything? No, natural. Oh, they're just ants. They're just ants. <laughs> <laughs> what was banned in Indonesia for stimulating passion? Hula hoops, party poppers, fireworks. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Ooh, we different? I said firework. B and C. All right, close your eyes. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Oh, never mind. It was hula it was really hoops. really hula hoops? It was hula hoops. Oh, so it was that kind of passion. What kind of passion is that, AJ? <laughs> that kinky hula hoop passion, I guess. The next question is, what is the name of a group of unicorns? A sparkle, a blessing, a rainbow. What's the least confusing? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Ooh, we said different things again. God damn it! Ah. AJ is back on one life where he belongs. <laughs> <laughs> what the, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> the oldest surviving piece of chewing gum is how many years old? 60, 600, or 9,000? It's like, what, what do you define as chewing gum? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Oh, I said 600. Are you confident? Not at all. It's me. Wait, is it? 
Oh no. Oh. I was like, wow, I got well, one. It was like a caveman or something. You must now eat. The ants. So, ants is sustainable. It requires one liter of water oh. to make one kg of protein that with ants. Sniff that. They smell. <laughs> they smell horrid. But it takes 22,000 liters of water to produce one kg of protein They're from all a cow. heads. It's all heads of ants. Look at this. No, they're just tiny. No, no, no. It, it's the heads. Oh, that's so much. No, stop. That's so much. Go ahead. Why does it say make and take traces of milk, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, and gluten? Hold on. Oh no. Beware celiacs. That's foul. It was like eating sawdust, except that sawdust had been left in the rain and the mud for like a solid week. It was also like braised a bit for a bit of char in there as well. Uh, 10 out of 10 would do again. In fact, I will do it again. Um, <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> Oh, I've got fucking ants on my trivia card. Oh no. Like it's little ant legs as well. I still have the odd ant in my mouth. Oh, me teriyaki mealworms. Teriyaki mealworms. Are you excited to eat the mealworms, AJ? Uh, I, I'm also, <laughs> I, I am because I know I will. <laughs> on Sunday, it is illegal to sell what in Columbus, Ohio? Pop-tarts, cornflakes, omelets. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. <laughs> I have the wrong card open. It's uh, cornflakes. Um, wait, what? Yo, let's go. <laughs> my logic was bad, but my luck was good. What was Walt Disney famously afraid of? Clouds, trains, mice. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. I said C. <laughs> what the f I was right again. You're right. So he was afraid of mice. He was afraid of See, mice. I feel like that makes sense in a weird way. Like maybe like he made Mickey Mouse to confront know. his phobia. Maybe or something. I don't know where my brain was at. What was the first fruit that was eaten on the moon? An apple, an orange, a peach. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. You've both gone with an apple. You're just nodding. Do we both get it right? No. <laughs> oh, 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 we're <laughs> Ah, oh, you got all, oh, you poured so much. You poured so much. <laughs> what was it? It was peach. Really? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that is Nick's out of lives. Tasty teriyaki sauce baked right into our crunchy mealworms. They will leave you wanting more. After you're done, I'm going to ask if you want more. They look like they're still moving. I mean, that's because you're shaking them, but. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're still moving. Teriyaki mealworms. Delish. Are you wanting more next? Oh, <laughs> the idea of them is making me get. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> that would have been straight on me as well. Just the idea of them. All the teriyaki oh, sauce. Me? I'm just grabbing a Red Bull. Some of a lot more teriyaki are not than others. As someone who's had all three of these, this is the best tasting one yet. Technically the lollipop tasted better, but like, of course it did. I wasn't expecting to gag at that. I wonder if it's something to do with like the texture, because they were very like, um... oh no, that's why. That reminded me of um, chicken skin. All right, we're now entering the fourth round. Yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Natural scorpion. Does it say natural? Yeah, oh. no flavoring. All right, what is the real name of the cookie monster? Greg, Sid, Bob. My brain's really fighting itself over which one it is. Reveal your answer in three, two, one. Oh, you said Sid, I said Greg. No! In Minnesota, it is illegal to tease what type of animal? Skunks, camels, Pigeons. It's illegal to tease. 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 Minnesota. Minnesota. Camels. Camels. Wait, what are camels doing in Minnesota? <laughs> Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Oh, you said beat? You said camels. Yeah. Again, in my head, I'm just w like. Would, wouldn't it be illegal to tease skunks? Because if they, if they like do yeah, the skunk thing. Yeah, could be. Alright, close your eyes. It was skunk. I need to stop thinking that it's like stupid laws that have been implemented. Some guy was like, aha, I teased the camel. And he's like, no. My camel. No, my camel. <laughs> and he made a law. <laughs> what is the world record for the most number of hot dogs eaten in one sitting? 54, 74, 114. Is this in a minute? This is in one sitting. I should know this. You should know this? What? I've, I read the all Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, both C. We're both wrong. Mm. 
It was at 74. It was 74. What patent burnt in a fire? Was it a fire hydrant, a fire engine, a fire alarm? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. We both said the same one. Close your eyes. Oh! <laughs> Losers! Okay, so we're sharing the scorpions. There's not many. Just grab one out. I kind of want to eat a whole one. You want to eat a whole one. When else are you going to eat a scorpion in your life? Okay, where do I start? I reckon just the whole shebang. Just like that. Holy shit, these taste good. Like, genuinely, this is the best tasting one. Yeah. Why are they so fat? They need to go on a diet, man. Whoa! <laughs> hey, we accept all kinds of scorpions here on the catchment. I don't understand how you're doing that. It tastes good. It's actually the hardest cook I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I genuinely almost threw up for that one. Really? If it wasn't for Red Bull, I would have. I love this one hey, as well. Hey, you you love what the f*** is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. That one tastes bad. So you're saying your two tasted good and the one I grabbed was yeah. the bad one? Yeah. This one tastes like actual, like, this one tastes rotten. Yeah, it was horrible. How dare you shame our sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh, shit's going down and we get... Try it. Try and fix. Well, that was horrible. Now we're on to the sixth round where the punishment is something special. It's not a scorpion, it's not ants. It's something that Mysterious Han and Mysterious Michael concocted together about three days ago. For the sixth and f- <laughs> <laughs> For the sixth and final challenge, I've come to the kitchen. We're gonna prepare a smoothie called the Ten Plague Smoothie, taking an aspect from each of the ten plagues of Egypt, as mentioned in the Bible. We're using the Bible like a recipe book. Michael is here. This is- I need to do this again. <laughs> I'm here. You need to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> We have a smoothie to make. Of biblical proportions. Indeed. Well, you'll never guess what I brought along with me today, Zach. <laughs> what did you bring with you today? I brought my Thermo Resist 2011 blender. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's great that you carry that around with you. Yeah. This is the first plague, I think. It calls for the water to be turned to, turned to blood. I couldn't buy blood anywhere. I looked at like exotic food shops and butcher shops to get pig's blood, but they said they weren't allowed to sell it to me. Quick question, where do you have your knives? Over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to turn this water to blood with a little bit of red food dye. Uh, I'll let you pour that in. How blood do you want to make this blood? Well, it is that time of the month. Oh my god. <laughs> Two shots of vodka. Plagues three, four, and eight call for various swarms of bugs. So we have the Eat Crawler's insect mixture, which contains crickets, grasshoppers, and mealworms. You're gonna eat one? Sure. Yep, give that a go. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> uh, it sucks. <laughs> Alright, we'll just dump that in there. A little bit of microplastics perhaps. Anyway. Yeah, that's that's appealing. You know what can make it better? One of the plagues calls for diseased livestock. That was also quite hard for me to obtain, but I can get dead livestock. I got some ham. Is this in date? Yeah. It's in date-ish. It depends on your concept of time. Ham. <laughs> Mix it up a little bit. Ugh. Oh, there's blades in there, bro. Ah! I scratched my balls with that hand. Oh, you got blood on me. Hold up, I gotta get the lid. That's now got essence of balls. That was one of the plagues, I think. That was in the King James Version. We're just gonna just hit it. How, how, wait, how long are we blending it for? I think that's good. That's That, that looks, looks like actual blood. That's that sick. looks much more gory now. And actually, it smells quite nice. It smells like wheat bix Hey, Michael, you know what makes this a biblical drink? What makes it a biblical drink? We're going to boil the hell out of it. Help. I'm putting in a laugh track there to fill that silence. <laughs> This is how pandemics start. One of the plagues calls for an army of frogs, which sounds like a pleasant concept to me. One of the translations of the Bible specifically mentions that the frogs will come out of the water, they will enter your homes, and they will enter your ovens. So, uh, if we check our oven, we will find that we've got a couple of real, real life, life frogs. frogs. Let's get in a lovely simmer on. So we're gonna drop in uh, old mate Fredo here. 
They have almost immediately melted. Uh, we are getting a bit more steam coming through. The next plague calls for the worst hailstorm Egypt has ever felt. That means ice. Just a small scoop of ice. Sure. Just drop that in there. So we're gonna pour this back into our vessel of choice here. That is, that is potent. Yep, that'll do. Don't put too much in, because there is something. <laughs> That's necessary. Garnish. <laughs> Zach, do you want to taste some of this with me? No, I'm good, man. Are you sure? It looks like something was bleeding on the floor. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers are stained red. Everyone who's read the Bible knows that there's actually, there's a hidden 11th plague, which is... The whipped cream plague. Oh. The second to last plague calls for three days of darkness. So we're gonna take this drink, we're gonna put it into the pantry, and we're gonna leave it in the dark for three days. After we've done that, we'll move on to the tenth and final plague, which is my personal favorite. What the f is the tenth and final plague? It calls for the death of a firstborn. And to see that, we'll cut back to the studio. Oh, hey. <laughs> what the f this is the 10 plague smoothie. This is the final round. It smells really bad. That's a face of pure like terror. Why do I let you guys talk me into this? If you get past the fact that it has ants on it and like- A half a bottle of food covering? Yeah, um, it looks, yeah, it looks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many eyes do caterpillars have? Is it two? Is it eight? Or is it 12? Reveal your answers in three, two, one. <sighs> Seething. The next question is, an ant eating assassin bug piles its victims onto its body for what purpose? To attract a mate, to scare off predators, to show dominance. Three, two, one. That's it as well. No! It's coming. What if I dodge it? Ugh. The correct answer was to scare predators. That didn't make sense to me at the time, because it's like, there's just a bunch of ants. Dead ants. I mean, it's a bit of a vibe. How does the water scorpion survive underwater? By using a snorkel. By holding its breath for an exceedingly long time. By getting oxygen from the water like a fish. Reveal your answers in three, two, one. Ooh, I said B. I think actually is A because a lot of insects make like little air belts. Close your eyes. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No, oh, oh, oh. no, it does have a snorkel. It does have a snorkel. So what, how do I do, how, how do I approach this? Feeling for you, brother. <laughs> which, which layer should I aim for? Should I just aim for the cream layer? Does that count? Just go for like the middle bit. Just go for it and then give us an outro whilst you're in pain. <laughs> No, no. Uh, whoa, whoa. You know, we put a lot of love into that. No, you didn't. What do you think? Okay, well, it? okay. Yeah, well, you know, I reckon. No, I reckon. I'm not taking a sip of it. Oh. You'd rather get sprayed? I've done this before, Michael. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, try me. Try me, bitch. You can bitch. What? Have some of this. You think you can beat me? You can't. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, take some of this. What? what? Fuck! Boom! Gah! Fly like a butterfly. Sting, Sting. like a bee! <laughs>